Hola, my name is Changs. Imagine not being with your friends and family for almost five years. Then, all of a sudden, you have the chance to be reunited with them. This was me three years ago. I had in front of me one of the hardest decisions of my life. I came to Italy to marry a woman in 2015. After six wonderful years of love and understanding, we decided to end our relationship. I came to Italy with the dream to become a father. The dream was gone. I was emotionally devastated. Fear and uncertainty flooded my brain. During the following weeks, I had one of the darkest times of my life. Hundreds of questions popped into my mind every single day. There were two in particular that were constantly there. Should I stay in Italy? What should I do with my life? It's weird sometimes how you find comfort in the strangest of places. In my case was remembering a phrase in a movie I watched many years ago that said, hope for the best, plan for the worst. A powerful statement that resonated in my life many times over the years. It still does today. But after the failure of my marriage, in my darkest hours, it helped me to generate assumptions that guided me to take one of the most difficult decisions in my life. Being away from my friends has been the most difficult part since I moved to Italy. Missing important occasions like birthdays, weddings, the birth of the children. It's just heartbreaking. So when I was dealing with my divorce, basically every day one question was bouncing in my head. What if I return to Mexico? The temptation of returning to my comfort zone was huge. Being close to my friends would have been a catalyst to heal my emotional devastation. But then the phrase came again, hope for the best, plan for the worst. If I wanted to return to Mexico, I also needed to analyze other elements like my professional future and consider the overall quality of my life. For the professional sphere, I had no doubts that I would have been able to find a new job in Mexico. People can critique many things about my country, but we cannot deny Mexico is a place with great potential and full of opportunities. I was 22 years old when I found my first job in Mexico, but every year I needed to find a new one. Why? Because of my volunteering. To understand why I didn't care to look for new jobs every single summer, you can watch this video in the top right corner. You can also find the link in the description below. As you know, the last couple of years have not been easy. The COVID pandemic pushed us to our limits. Being away from my friends and family was a bit scary, but at the same time it made me realize that I probably made the right choice staying where I am now. Naval Ravikant, an American entrepreneur and investor, tweeted this on February 12th of 2022. The single most important decision, the decision, the single most important decision you make is where you live. It drives your business opportunities, relationships, food and water supply, politics, activities, and day-to-day -day quality of life. In my opinion, he is one of the greatest minds of the last decades. If you don't believe me, oh boy, make yourself a cup of tea and just watch when he went to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Two hours full of pearls of wisdom. I think you will enjoy it. Link will be in the description. Even though I still miss my friends and some relatives, <laughs> I cannot deny the overall quality of life here in Italy. It's far superior to the one that I could get in Mexico. Being out of my comfort zone for so long has been enlightening. It's been a challenge as well. The constant struggle forced me to use abilities I wasn't aware of having and sometimes develop other skill for my own survival and well-being. The same struggle made me reflect upon my choices and priorities. For me, every crisis is an opportunity. The failure of my marriage took me to deep self-analysis. This led me to understand what I wanted to do in the upcoming years. I needed to get better at my job and continue my volunteering. 
the purpose of these activities is greater than myself. Both of them involve the education of other human beings. I've seen over the years that I can have a positive impact on the people around me. And if you have seen the rest of my videos, you can understand why I'm never going to stop. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Ciao.